Okay, problem 18 to uh, 20. This is a uh, rotating vessel. An open tank 3 meters high and 1 meter diameter contains 2 meters of uh, water. If the cylinder uh, rotates about its uh, geometrical axis, okay, question number 18, what angular velocity can be attained without spilling any uh, water? So, for example, ito yung ating uh, figure. Okay, yung tanong sa number 18, ito yung case na pag sinabing without spilling any water, okay, kapag open tank, uh, parang yung imagination natin dito Kung ano yung height na tataas O itataas ng tubig Yun din dapat yung height na ibababa niya Okay? So, uh, malinaw dito na meron tayong space Or free, uh, free space ng, tubig, ng hangin sa taas Na 1 Okay, na 1 meter So, it is expected na tataas yung tubig ng Ng 1 meter lang Okay? Uh, tataas siya ng 1 meter Bababa siya ng 1 meter Ito yung uh, case na okay, walang matatapon So, okay, without spilling any water sa so number 18 uh, Sabihin natin, so without okay, Without spilling okay, Kung ano man yung height na tataas Yung equivalent ng height na itataas Ito yung kalahati ng height ng paraboloid Equal lang dapat yon sa height na bababa Equal lang din dapat sa kalahati ng height ng uh, paraboloid so basically sa so number 18 Ang gusto niyang mangyari dito Is dapat yung height ng paraboloid Is equal to okay, uh, Tataas ng 1 meter Bababa ng 1 uh, meter So the height of the paraboloid na required Ay 2 meters okay, Balikan natin Ano yung formula for the height of a paraboloid Sa rotating vessel Ito yung h is equal to uh, The angular velocity this is the angular velocity squared, the radius squared, divided by twice the acceleration due to uh, gravity. So, dapat, yung height ng paraboloid is equal to 2 meters, equal yun ta sa angular velocity squared. Ano yung radius ng tank? Okay, meron tayong diameter na 1 meter, so radius is 0 0.5. So, you have a radius of uh, 0 0.5. This is 0 0.5 squared, divided by twice of uh, 9.81 So, computing for the angular velocity Okay, so yun yung uh, 2 times 2 times 9.81 uh, This is divided by uh, the radius squared, 0 0.5 squared Tapos, uh, square root okay, So, we have that value as 12.528 So, this is 12.528 Okay, the region per uh, second So if you are to check this value sa choices okay, Question number 18 12.528 Ang pinakamalapit na dito is yung 12.53 okay, region per uh, second okay, Question number, 20, uh, number 19 naman What constant velocity can be attained If the depth of water at the center is 0 0.5? Okay, kung i-recall -re natin ito yung uh, sa problem number 18 So, ang gusto niyang mangyari na height ng uh, paraboloid is uh, 2 meters So, tataas ng 1 meter, yun yung free, uh, free space kanina Bababa ng 1 meter as long as walang uh, natatapon Okay, yung sa number 19 naman Ang sabi niya is yung height daw ng tubig sa gitna is 0 0.5 meter So, for example, ito yung ating uh, bezel Okay uh, I-assume lang natin na yung height ng tubig okay, Let's say dito sa ilalim ng paraboloid uh, Yung height ng tubig dito is now equal to 0 0.5 uh, meter Kung yan yung height ng tubig Ano yung magiging equivalent height ng uh, paraboloid? So, alam natin na yung total height ng container uh, Yung height ng container is equal to 3 uh, meters So, ang gusto niya sa number 19 is Yung height ng paraboloid ay 3 meters minus yung 0.5 So, minus 0 0.5 So, ang gusto niyang mangyari na height ng paraboloid ay 2.5 meters Okay? So, i-substitute lang natin ito para makuha yung angular uh, velocity So, we have that as h is equal to the angular velocity squared The radius squared divided by twice of Okay, twice of g so this is okay, 2.5 Equal to the angular velocity Yung radius is 0.5 squared 
This is divided by twice of 9.80 or 1. So, ano naman yung angular velocity ngayon? Kung yung height ng uh, paraboloid ay 2.5 uh, meters. So, we have that as 2.5 okay, times 2 times uh, the 9.81. This is divided by the radius squared. Then, okay, kunin natin yung square root. So, we have the angular velocity is, uh, sabihin natin, that is equal to 14.007. This is in terms of the region per uh, second. So, check natin sa number 19 if we have this uh, value sa choices. 14.007. Okay, pinakamalapit na sa choices natin. That is, okay, 14.01 if uh, rounded to two decimal places. So, number 20 Compute the angular velocity to, uh, so that the volume of 0 0.196 cubic meter will be spilled out. Okay, so ang gagawin natin dito is uh, tatanggalin natin yung volume na 0 0.196 cubic meter dun sa initial uh, volume ng uh, tubig. So di ba meron tayong initial height ng tubig which is okay, 2 uh, meters. So ano yung ating initial uh, volume? So let's say... Okay, the initial volume, uh, sabihin ko na lang, that is the B sub. Okay, B sub I is equal to pi. Yung radius ng tanke is 0 0.5 squared times, okay, times 2. So, ito yung initial volume ng uh, tubig. Okay, the volume initial. As okay, so we have that as uh, 0 0.5 squared, okay, shape uh, pi. Okay, yung initial height ng tubig is 2 uh, meters. So this is uh, basically we have pi over. Sabi na lang natin this is okay, pi over 2 cubic meter. So magiging equivalent ng final velocity is yung volume initial minus yung tatanggalin natin na 0 0.196 cubic meter na matatapon raw. So we have the final velocity is equal to this is uh, pi over 2 minus 0 0.196. Okay, so, anong magiging equivalent ng final velocity? So, we have the initial velocity is uh, pi over 2 minus point or 196. So, this is 1.375 uh, okay, cubic uh, meter. Ngayon, uh, di ba nagtanggal na tayo ng tubig, kunin na natin yung D prime. So, nilagay ko na lang siya as D prime. Ito yung final height pagkatapos nating tanggalin yung uh, volume na natapon. So that is equal to 1.375 uh, is equal to pi. Yung radius ng tanke is 0 0.5 squared multiplied by the D prime. Okay, so compute natin yung height ng tubig kapag katanggal natin nung natapon na tubig. So let's say this is uh, the D prime. Okay, 1.375 this is divided by I shift pi divided by uh, 0.5 squared. So, yung lumabas dito is uh, 1.750 uh, meter. So, ito raw yung height ng tubig pagkatanggal natin nung uh, 0 0.196 cubic meter na matatapon. Ay sabihin natin that is okay, 1.75 uh, uh, 1.750 meters. So ngayon, ang gagawin natin is i-rotate ulit natin itong tanke na to pero dapat wala nang matatapon. Uh, bakit wala nang matatapon? Ay for a reason na tinanggal na natin siya. Okay, tinanggal na natin yun kanina. So yung height na 0 0.1750, wala na yung 0 0.196. So ano yung free space natin dito sa taas? Okay, yung, free, uh, yung free space ng hangin uh, dito sa taas, Adi uh, ba yung height ng container is 3 meters? So, okay, kung ibabawas natin yan, okay, that is uh, 3 meters, okay, minus 1.75. Uh, okay, yung, pre, uh, yung free space ng uh, hangin sa taas is now equal to, this is 1.25. Uh, okay, 1.25 meters. Ano yung rule natin pagdating sa ano sa without spilling? Without spilling for a reason tinanggal na natin. 
kapag wala nang matatapon, this is uh, without uh, spilling. Okay, kung ano man yung height ng tubig na tataas, yun yung kalahati ng height ng paraboloid. And equal lang yun sa height ng tubig na bababa, which is also kalahati lang din ng paraboloid. So, parang ganito yung mangyayari sa paraboloid natin. Okay, ito yung parang magiging appearance ng uh, paraboloid kapag uh, nirotate. So, ibig sabihin, ang required dito is tataas siya ang equivalent ng h over 2 natin, tataas siya ng 1.25 meters. And ganun din, bababa siya, yung equivalent height niya na bababa, yung equivalent height na bababa is h over 2. So, anong magiging required height ng paraboloid natin? The required height of the paraboloid is h over 2. The free space is 1.25. So, we have... Yung required na height ng paraboloid, ano yung 2 times 1.25? That is equal to 2.5 meters. So, this is the required height of uh, the paraboloid for problem number 20. So, if the height is 2.5 meters for the paraboloid, may natapon na 0 0.196 cubic meter. Pero kung i -re recall natin, di ba meron na tayong equivalent angular velocity kapag yung height ng paraboloid is 2.5? Okay, ito yung number 19 kanina. Yung height ng paraboloid is 2.5 uh, meters and lumabas na angular velocity is 14.007 radian per second. So which means, kapag ito yung height ng paraboloid, meron na tayong angular velocity na 14.007 uh, radian per uh, second. So ito yung sagot natin sa question number 20. Kapareho lang nung sagot sa number 19. Kung i-check natin sa number 20, kung meron sa choices yan. Ay, number 20, 14.007. Or pareho lang din sa number 19, that is 14.01. Uh, so, hindi, no need to compute since, okay, again, pareho lang yung height ng paraboloid na 2.5 meters. Okay, so ito yung sagot natin for problem uh, 18 to 20. Okay, problem 21 to uh, 23. In the figure shown, the 50 meter pipe is uh, 60 millimeters in diameter. The fluid flowing has a mass density of 922, uh, 920 kilograms per cubic meter and absolute viscosity of 0 0.29 pascal second. The pressure in the enclosed tank is 200 kilopascal uh, gauge. I list down natin yung mga, uh, yung mga given. So, yung length ng pipe na nagko-connect sa dalawang tanke is uh, 50 meters. The diameter of the pipe is uh, 60 mm. Or sabihin natin, that is uh, 0 0.06 meter. Tapos kapag yung unit is pascal second, do sinabi naman niya, absolute viscosity, yun yung mu, equal to 0 0.29 pascal, okay, 0 0.29 pascal uh, second. Okay, then, okay, number 21, ang tanong dito, determine the rate of flow. Number 22, determine the velocity of flow. Then, number 23, determine the Reynolds uh, number. So, paano natin isosolve yun based sa uh, mga given? Okay, kapag uh, naghahanap tayo ng discharge, tapos involve yung Reynolds number, pero wala naman tayong uh, Iba, iba pang given para makuha yung dis, uh, velocity or discharge baka naman may kinalaman yung head loss and kapag Reynolds number ang involved uh, more likely ito yung head loss by Darcy way back okay, we have the head loss is equal to the friction factor kapag in terms of the velocity uh, this is multiplied by the length over the diameter multiplied by the velocity head that is the b squared divided by uh, 2g we're in, okay, ano yung equivalent ng friction factor natin kapag involved ang Reynolds number? The friction factor is equal to 64 divided by the Reynolds number. And e recall na rin natin, anong equivalent ng Reynolds number? Ito yung velocity, uh, diameter of the pipe, multiplied by the density, this is divided by the absolute viscosity. Okay, so one thing more, pag nagsusolve tayo na may involved na Reynolds number, uh, minsan hindi tubig yung pinag-uusapan. Which is, kung mapapansin ninyo sa mass density, 920. 
Okay, the density of the liquid is equal to 920 kilograms per cubic meter. Obviously, hindi ito too big. Ah, para. So, yung liquid natin is not a water. So, ano yung specific gravity niyan? Yung specific gravity ng liquid is, uh, the specific gravity of that liquid, 920 kilograms per cubic meter divided by uh, the density of water, yun yung 1,000 kilogram per cubic uh, meter. So, meron tayong specific gravity na 0 0.92. Okay. So, ingat lang kapag Reynolds number, uh, most of the time, or may mga cases na hindi siya too big. Okay, kunin natin yung mga head loss uh, based dito sa given, yung 12 meters at saka yung 200 kilo uh, pascal. Alamin rin natin yung direction of flow. Ano kaya yung direction of flow? From point 0.1 to point 0.2 or from point 0.2 to uh, point 0.1. So magbabase tayo dun sa mga available na energy heads. Sa ibang reference, H yon Sa ibang reference naman is E. Ano yung mga uh, tatlong energy heads natin? Yung tatlong energy heads, we have the elevation head plus the pressure head plus ay, the velocity head. That is the B1 squared over uh, 2G. So ngayon, i-consider ko si point 0.1. Yung point 0.1 is yung surface ng liquid uh, dito sa uh, left side. Ito yun. So, sa point 1, okay, pwede na rin nating i-assume uh, muna pala dito. I-assume ko na lang na sa point 2, uh, ito yung magiging reference natin. Na yung elevation ng point na to, so let's say elevation number 2 is uh, 0. So, ang elevation ni point 1, elevation 1, is equal to uh, 12 meters. So, sa point 1, yung surface ng liquid na open to atmosphere is equal to uh, 12 uh, meters So, ano naman yung equivalent ng kanyang pressure head? Pressure head plus pressure over gamma Yung pressure head, kapag open, obviously okay, Exposed to atmosphere, the pressure is uh, 0 Tapos, wala naman tayong dimension ng tanke I-assume natin na hindi gumagalaw yung liquid surface dito okay? So, kapag hindi gumagalaw yung liquid surface I-assume din natin na yung velocity is 0 so, this is 0 plus 0. So, yung total energy head natin sa point 1 ay elevation head lang. That is 12 meters. Okay, ano naman yung total energy head sa point 2? Let's say this is H sub 2 or the energy at uh, point 2. So, depende sa, sa reference minsan kung H or uh, E. So, ito yung uh, elevation head sa 2, the pressure head at 2, the velocity head at uh, 2. So we have the energy head at point 2 uh, Dito sa surface niya Sa surface ng liquid dito sa, sa right side Okay, ano yung elevation natin dyan? The elevation is uh, 0 Meron tayong pressure na 200 kilopascal So this is 200 divided by gamma Ano yung unit weight ng liquid? Uh, take note, hindi siya too big May specific gravity na 0.92 so we have the pressure head is 200 okay, That is 200 divided by yung specific gravity niya na 0 0.92 okay, multiplied by gamma water 9.81 okay, Again, hindi natin uh, alam yung dimension ng tank Kaya i natin na hindi gumagalaw yung liquid surface So that is uh, yung kanyang velocity head ay 0 Elevation head ay a 0 So this is plus a 0 Ito naman yung total energy head sa, sa point 2. That is 200 okay, divided by uh, gamma. Specific gravity ng liquid is 0 0.92 by 9.81 of uh, water. That is 22.16. Uh, so this is 22.16 meters. Okay, kung you observe natin, yung total energy head sa 1 is only 12 meters. Yung total energy head sa point 2 is 22 point. Uh, 16. Ibig sabihin nun, kapag yung energy head sa point 2 is greater than the energy head sa point 1, yung direction ng flow natin ay mula sa 2 papuntang 1. Okay, that is the direction of uh, flow. So dito, okay, yung equivalent direction of flow natin ay pakaliwa. Okay, that is the direction of uh, flow. So ngayon, kung ilalagay natin yung mga energy heads uh, dito sa diagram natin, 
Okay, kung mapapansin ninyo, mas mataas yung total energy head dito sa sa right side. Okay, so ano yung total energy head natin dito sa right side? Okay, yung nakuha natin dito kanina, ito yung E sub uh, 2 is equal to 22.16 uh, uh, meters. Okay, ano naman yung total energy head lang sa uh, sa left side? Okay, yung total uh, total energy head dito sa left side, ito lang yung elevation head. E sub 2 is equal to 12 uh, meters. Ngayon, kung gagawa tayo ng horizontal line from point, uh, point 2 to point 1, Okay, ito na yung uh, resulting uh, equivalent ng energy uh, grade line. Yung pagbaba ng energy grade line sa direction of flow, ito na yung ating head loss. Uh, basically, yung head loss is the, different, uh, the difference of the two energy heads. So, we have uh, yung head loss. Pero dito, kung gagamitin ng Darcy way back, ito yung H sub F is equal to The energy at point 2 minus the energy at uh, point 1. So we have the equivalent of the total head loss is equal to yung energy head sa point 2 is 22.16 minus uh, 12. A total head loss of uh, 22.16 minus 12 is 10.16 uh, meters. Ayan, so meron na tayong head loss. Paano natin gagamitin ito? Okay, gamitin natin yung formula ni Darcy way back. Ito yun. Okay, the head loss in terms of the uh, velocity. Okay, recall natin. Okay, this is uh, the head loss is equal to the friction factor, the length divided by the diameter, multiplied by the velocity squared, b squared over uh, 2g. Pero ano equivalent ng friction factor? Ito yung 64 divided by the Reynolds uh, number. Pero applicable lang ito kapag laminar. Okay, so paano natin malalaman na laminar flow? Laminar flow siya for a reason. Okay, i-observe natin yung mga nasa choices sa number 23. Okay, yung mga Reynolds number sa number 23, lahat ito ay less than 2,000. Kapag less than 2,000, it is a laminar okay, laminar flow tayo. Uh, based sa choices, ah, lahat A, B, C, D, lahat ay less than uh, 2,000. So, if you are to simplify, anong equivalent ng friction factor? Ito yung 64. Anong equivalent ng Reynolds number? Ito yung velocity, pipe diameter, density, divided by the absolute viscosity. Or pwede natin simplify as 64 times mu, divided by the velocity, uh, velocity pipe diameter, density. Then, substitute natin ito. Okay, substitute lang natin yan dito. Okay, so we are now ready to... I substitute. Okay, so solving for uh, the required problem number at uh, 21. I mag-substitute lang tayo muna. So this is okay, the head loss equal to an equivalent ng friction factor. That is 64 mu divided by the velocity pipe diameter density. Okay, multiplied by Uh, the length over the diameter okay, multiplied by uh, the b squared divided by uh, 2g. So, una nating masosolve dito yung velocity. Okay, ano yung total head loss? Nakompute natin siya kanina as 10.16 equal to okay, we have 64. Ano yung value ng mu? Yun yung 0.29. Okay, the absolute viscosity divided by uh, pwede pala nating i-cancel dito yung isang velocity. Yan, para wala na tayong velocity dito. So, yung diameter is 0.06. The density is 920. Okay, multiplied by yung length ng pipe ay 50 meters. The diameter ay 0.06. So, since nag-cancel na tayo ng isa dyan, isang V na lang yung naiwan dyan. Okay, this is B divided by twice of 9.81. So, sa equation na yan, ang unknown na lang is yung uh, velocity. Kaya lang yung velocity pala is number 22. Okay, unahin natin isolve si number 22. Okay, so we have, there is a uh, 10.16. Uh, 
is equal to, okay, we have 64 multiplied by, this is 0.29, yung absolute viscosity, divided by the pipe diameter, 0.06, okay, the density is 920. Okay, this is uh, multiplied by the ratio of the pipe length, 50 meters yung length niya, pipe diameter is 0 0.06, uh, tapos yung velocity, sabihin ko na lang alpha x, this is divided by twice of 9.81. So, una lang nating masasolve yung uh, velocity. Okay, shift solve. Okay, yung lumabas dito is 0 0.7. We have 0 0.711 okay, meter per uh, second. Okay, check natin ito sa choices number 22. Inu inuna ko lang yung velocity based sa convenient ng mga formula. Okay, so sa number 22, we have the velocity of flow is equal to 0 0.711 uh, meter per uh, second. Okay, kung may, may velocity ka na, madin, madali na lang isolve yung uh, rate of flow or yung discharge. So, sa, number, uh, sa number 21, uh, di ba na-compute natin yung uh, velocity uh, 0 0.711 uh, meter per second. Inuna lang natin yun based sa uh, convenient or kung ano yung mga useful. So, number 21, hinahanap lang natin yung discharge. That is basically area times the velocity. So, discharge, yung pipe diameter natin is 0 0.06 squared pi. This is divided by uh, 4. Yung na-compute natin na velocity is 0 0.71, 1 meter per second. So, compute natin, that is uh, 0 0.06 squared. I ship pi over uh, 4. Then, the velocity of flow is okay, 0.711. Okay, that is okay, 2.01 times 10 raised to negative uh, 3. We have, that is 2.01 times 10 raised to negative 3 cubic meter per uh, second. Yung mga nasa choices is nasa liters per second. So, this is multiplied by 1,000 liters is to 1 cubic uh, meter. So, we have the discharge, okay, yung value na to, multiplied by 1,000 lang tayo, that is 2.01. This is 2.01 liters per uh, second. Kung okay, check natin ito sa number 21. Okay, question number 21, that is, okay, we have letter A. Ito yung 2.01 liter, uh, liters per second. And number 23, I determine the Reynolds number. So, sa Reynolds number, okay, na, uh, sulat ulit natin para ma-recall. Number 23, okay, ang equivalent ng Reynolds number is the velocity, the pipe diameter, the density, divided by the absolute uh, viscosity. Okay, compute natin. We have the Reynolds number, yung velocity of flow, na-compute natin siya as 0 0.711. Yung pipe diameter ay 0 0.06. Yung density is 920. This is divided by yung absolute viscosity given na 0 0.29. So, Reynolds number, this is 0.711. Pipe diameter is 0 0.06. Density is 920. Okay, this is divided by 0.29. So, 135.34, uh, 335. 135.335, uh, check natin. 135.335. Okay, so check natin kung meron ito sa choices. Okay, question number 23, ang nakuha ko is 135.335. Okay, based sa choices, ang pinakamalapit na dito is letter uh, A. Okay, so ito yung solution natin kay problem 21 to okay, problem 21 to 23. Okay, we have problem 24 to uh, 26. This is uh, orifice. So sabi niya dito, an orifice of area uh, 30 centimeters or 30 square centimeters in a vertical plate has a head of 1.1 meters of oil. So, specific gravity ng oil, given siya 0 0.91. It discharges 6,970 newtons of oil in 79.3 uh, seconds. 
trajectory measurements a uh, yield x is equal to 2.25 and y uh, is equal to 1.23 uh, meters so compute the following so we are computing for the coefficient of contraction uh, coefficient of velocity tapos number 26 okay, the coefficient of uh, discharge so pwede tayong mag uh, trial and error dito ito yung uh, one solution na pwede nyong gawin so alam natin na yung uh, coefficient of contraction let's say c sub c uh, multiplied by the coefficient of velocity is equal to the coefficient of uh, discharge so di ba ito yung uh, sagot sa number 24 yung c sub c sa so, 25 naman yung c sub b at 26 yung c sub d so kailangan nyo lang isatisfy ito uh, yun yung isang uh, solution so kung gagawa naman natin siya ng uh, fundamental solution Okay, ito naman yung kanyang uh, equivalent uh, figure So, uh, kailangan lang natin kunin yung mga actual values at saka mga theoretical uh, values Kapag given yung uh, projectile or, uh, at saka yung, uh, yung properties ng projectile at saka yung head So, madali na lang kunin yung uh, actual velocities and theoretical velocities So, pwede tayong magsimula sa coefficient of uh, velocity Okay, recall natin, paano ba, paano ba mag-compute ng theoretical velocity? The theoretical velocity is equal to the square root of 2g times okay, the head. So, this is equal to uh, the square root. Okay, this is the square root of twice of 9.81. Okay, given yung head niya, sabi niya that is 1.1 uh, meters. So, makukuha natin yung theoretical uh, velocity. So, this is the square root of 2 times... Uh, the 9.81 I multiplied by the given head 1.1 uh, meters so per point uh, sabihin ko na lang that is uh, per point 646 uh, 646 uh, meters per uh, second okay, paano naman natin kukunin yung actual velocity okay, yung actual velocity gamitin natin yung trajectory so we have the value of x is equal to 2.25 meters and given naman yung value ng y kung gaano siya kababa yung binagsakan nung tubig kapag mas mababa yung binagsakan yung role natin sa projectile dapat okay negative yung value ng okay negative yung value ng y tapos gamitin natin yung equation natin sa projectile we have the y is equal to okay the x uh, tangent of theta minus the gx squared this is divided by twice okay the initial velocity pero pag ginamit natin yung mga actual distances actual value of x actual value of y ito yung actual velocity so velocity actual squared okay cosine of theta okay the cosine of theta squared so ano yung initial trajectory ng projectile pag ganitong case ang initial trajectory niya or initial direc direction niya is horizontal so kapag horizontal Okay, the value of theta is simply equal to 0 uh, degree. So, kung gagamitin natin yung 0 degree, automatic na yung tangent of 0 is a uh, 0, cosine of 0 is 1. Okay? So, mag-substitute tayo. Again, kung mas mababa yung binagsakan ng projectile, the value of y should be uh, negative. So, this is negative 1.23. Equal to, so 0 na ito since the uh, tangent 0 is 0 Minus G, that is 9.81 okay, Multiplied by the value of X Kung gano'n siya kalayo horizontally Given na 2.25 uh, squared So this is, okay, divided by twice The actual velocity squared Cosine of 0 is simply equal to uh, 1 So una na, uh, makukumpita natin dito ngayon Yung actual velocity I compute natin so we can have it as okay, by the way since mapapansin nyo uh, negative na yung uh, mga terms natin both sides so magpapositive na yan that is uh, 9.81 I multiplied by uh, 2.25 this is 2.25 squared okay, divided by 2 times okay, uh, 2, 1.23 
is 20 din, kunin natin yung kanyang square root since naka, yung b sub a natin ay naka-squared. So yung nakuha ko dito is equal to 4.49. Sabihin natin, the actual velocity is equal to 4.493 okay, meters per second. Okay, 4.493. Uh, okay, so ang hinahanap natin, okay, unahin ko muna si number 25. Sa number uh, 25, okay, hinahanap natin yung C sub B. Ang C sub B or the coefficient of velocity is the ratio of the velocity actual to the theoretical uh, velocity. So, ito yung ating actual velocity. That is 4.493 meters per second. Yung theoretical velocity naman natin is uh, the 4.646. So, this is the coefficient of uh, velocity. Okay, question number 25 muna. So that is, okay, we have uh, the ratio of 4.493. This is divided by uh, 4.646. Okay, that is 0 0.967. We have 0 0.967. Okay, check natin yung uh, value na yan sa question number uh, 25. Okay, the coefficient of velocity is 0 0.967, that is letter uh, C. Okay, ano yung pwede kong isunod dito? Yung coefficient of velocity. Gamitin natin yung given na weight na naipon daw after 79.3 uh, second. Okay, so i-recall natin. Okay, yung given na weight... Okay, the given weight is equal to 6,970 uh, newtons. Yung given na time is equal to 79.3 seconds. Sila yung magbibigay ng actual discharge. Okay? Pa uh, yung theoretical discharge naman is simply equal to the area of the orifice multiplied by the theoretical uh, velocity. So, unahin ko na yung theoretical uh, discharge. So, theoretical discharge is the area of the orifice times the theoretical velocity. Or we can have it as theoretical discharge, area ng orifice, okay, the square root of twice of G okay, times okay, the head. So, mag-substitute tayo. So, we have the theoretical discharge. Ano yung area ng orifice? Okay, given yung area ng orifice as okay, 30 square uh, centimeters. So, naka-square cm yun. Okay, this is uh, 30 square centimeters. Okay, this is multiplied by uh, 1 square meter divided by 100 square, okay, 100 square centimeters. So, burihin ko na lang yun. So, this is okay, 1 meter is to 100 centimeter squared. Uh, this is multiplied by uh, twice of 9.81 okay, multiplied by the head na 1.1. Ito yung ating theoretical discharge. Okay, so that is okay, 300, uh, ano, 330. This is divided by 100 squared. Uh, this is multiplied by the square root of 2 times uh, the 9.81 uh, multiplied by 1.1. Uh, the 1.1 So this is equal to 0 point uh, Medyo malit So gagamit ako siguro dito ng 5 decimal places 0 0.1394 0 0.01394 oh, Check ko nga kung tama 1394 Okay So this is in terms of the cubic meter per uh, second Ito naman Ito yung actual na naipon na weight Ito naman yung actual time. So, ang ibibigay nila is okay, the actual discharge. Pero ang actual discharge kasi, uh, discharge is basically volume over time. Kaya lang, yung given dito is a weight. Uh, balikan natin yung concept ng unit weight. Unit weight is equal to uh, the weight divided by the uh, volume. So, kung naghahanap tayo ng volume, Okay, yung volume is simply equal to the weight divided by the uh, unit weight. So, given naman yung specific gravity ng liquid, ang specific gravity niya is, okay, given siya as 0.91. Uh, 
So, makukuha natin yung unit weight ng uh, liquid. Okay, so we are now solving for uh, the volume. Okay, the volume is equal to, ano yung weight ng li, uh, na, na ipon daw? 6,970 uh, newtons. Okay, this is divided by gamma. Specific gravity daw ng oil is 0.91. So, para uniform tayo sa unit, gumamit din tayo ng gamma water na may unit na newtons. Yun yung 9,810 newtons per cubic meter. So, makukuha natin yung volume. Okay, the volume is equal to Okay, that is 6,970 newtons okay, divided by 0.91 specific gravity ng oil times the unit weight of water in newtons per cubic uh, meter. So, that is 0. Okay, 0. 0.7077 uh, 0. 0.78077 cubic meter uh, 0.78077 Okay So, ito na yung uh, volume Kunin natin yung actual uh, discharge So, for the actual discharge Ito yung Q sub A natin The volume is equal to 0.78077 cubic uh, meter Actual time Yung actual time natin is 79.3 seconds uh, Is that 79.3? Okay So, magkakaroon na tayo ngayon ng actual uh, discharge. Ito yung ginagawa natin sa laboratory noon. Iniipon natin yung liquid, inaorasan natin, doon natin kinukuha yung actual uh, values. So, this is uh, 0.78076 uh, and so on. Uh, gamitin ko na lang yung stored value divided by yung time, 79.3. So, that is 9.846 9.846 uh, times 10 raised to negative uh, This is negative 3 okay, Cubic meter per second Tama ba? Uh, this is uh, 0 0.98 I don't know 9.846 okay, Times 10 raised to negative 3 cubic uh, meter Okay So, sasagutan ko na ngayon si question number 26 okay, The coefficient of uh, discharge So, we have, so number 26, paano kumuha ng coefficient of discharge? This is the ratio of the actual discharge to the theoretical discharge. Okay, ano yung ating actual discharge? Okay, the actual discharge is equal to 9.846. This is times 10 raised to negative uh, 3. Divided by yung theoretical discharge natin kanina. Sana yan? Ito. That is equal to 0.01394. So, this is the coefficient of uh, discharge. So, this is equal to 9.846. This is times 10 raised to negative uh, 3. This is divided by the theoretical, uh, theoretical discharge, 0.01394. Okay, so we have that as 0. Point. This is equal to 0. 0.706. Uh, so, ito yung sagot natin sa number uh, 26. So, check natin sa choices. 0. 0.706, that will be a uh, letter, uh, letter D. Uh, take note sa mga situational problem. Pwede nyo tingnan kung sino yung mas madaling isolve. Yun muna. So, paano naman yung coefficient of contraction. So pina uh, madali na lang 'yon. Okay, nahuli na nahula na nahuli na 'yung pag-solve ko sa number 24. This is 24. Alam natin that C sub C okay, multiplied by C sub B is equal to the C sub uh, D. So substitution C sub C. Ano 'yung nakuha natin na C sub B kanina? C sub B is equal to 0.967. Uh, C sub D 0.70. Uh, six. So this will be the coefficient of okay, the coefficient of contraction. Okay, computing for the coefficient of contraction, that is a point seven zero six. I divided by a point nine sixty seven. So this is equal to zero point seven three zero or zero point seventy three. 
Okay, ito naman yung C sub C sa question number uh, 24. Check natin. So, we have that also at uh, letter C. 0 0.7310. So, ito yung solution natin for problem number 24 to 26. Pero kung magawa nyo ng paraan, by trial and error, yun na yung pinakamabilis. Pero may mga cases kasi na may magmamatch dyan. Okay? Uh, hindi lang isa or minsan dalawa, minsan uh, tatlo. So, parang yung panigurado lang na solution is okay, gamitan mo silang fundamental. Okay, yung parang actual solution. Uh, this will be our solution. Okay, problem 27 to uh, 29. A vertical triangular plate whose height is 3.6 uh, meters has its uh, base horizontal and vertex uppermost in the water uh, surface. So, if the difference, number 27, if the difference in level between the center of gravity and the center of pressure is 0 0.20, okay, basically sa number uh, 27, yung sinasabi niya dyan, distance from the center of pressure to the center of gravity is yung E, or yung eccentricity, equal to 0 0.20 uh, meter. How far below the water surface is the vertex of uh, the plate? So, ito yung uh, figure natin. Yung required sa number 27 is ito yung nilagay ko na H sub uh, 1. Gaano raw kalalim ito from the liquid uh, surface, yung vertex niya. Okay, so yung given lang so far is uh, yung E, the eccentricity, which is equal to 0 0.20 uh, meter. Okay, alam natin na yung point of action ng hydrostatic force ay sa center of pressure that is at a distance E okay, from the center of uh, gravity. Tapos yung, uh, yung distance naman from the uh, liquid surface, considering na wala tayong pressure sa surface since wala namang sinabi, ito naman yung uh, bar H. Mula sa liquid surface, papunta sa center of gravity, that is the, okay, the bar H. Then sa triangle, alam natin yung uh, location ng centroid or the center of uh, gravity. So, mula dito sa vertex, that is, okay, 2 over 3 of the depth, which is, okay, ano yung 2 thirds ng 3.6? That is, okay, 2.4 meters. Yung mula naman sa ilalim, this is 1 third of the depth. And this is equal to, okay, 1 third of 3.6, uh, 3.6 divided by 3 is 1.2 okay, uh, meters. Okay, so, paano natin kukunin si H sub 1? Para makuha natin si H sub 1, kailangan natin makuha yung uh, bar H. Okay, for problem number 27, uh, ay gamitin natin yung given na uh, na E. Okay, ano bang formula natin for E for vertical plates? Applicable lang ito kapag vertical plate. That is yung I divided by the area multiplied by the uh, bar H. Ano yung moment of inertia kapag triangular? Ito yung BD cube divided by 36. Okay, that is, since triangular yung uh, plate natin. Then we have the area. Ano yung area ng triangle na to? That is basically 1 half the base times okay, the depth. Okay, yan lang naman yung gagamitin natin. So, pwede natin isimplify yung equivalent ng eccentricity. This is E. Ano equivalent ng I? In yung BD cube divided by uh, 36. So this is uh, divided by the area that is 1 half of a BD times the bar H. Okay, ano yung mga pwede nating i-cancel dyan? So pwede nating i-cancel yung BD cube. Ang may iwan dito is a uh, D squared. Cancel yung uh, BD. So yung mga naiwan na terms, E is equal to, uh, that is D squared divided by 36 all over uh, this is a uh, 1 half times the bar H Ayan. pwede na tayong mag uh, substitute para ma-compute natin yung equivalent ng uh, bar H uh, yung given na E sa so number 27 is 0.20 equal to ano yung given na D yun yung 3.6 uh, this is 3.6 squared divided by uh, 36 uh, all over this is okay, one half of uh, one half of the bar H. So I compute natin yung equivalent ng uh, bar H. 
uh, that is uh, point 0.20 is equal to that is uh, 3.6 squared this is divided by uh, 36 divided by 0.5 yun yung one half of okay, uh, bar h alpha x ship solved so yung ating bar h is okay, pareho lang na 3.6 dun sa depth ng plate okay, we have 3.6 uh, meters Okay, gaano kalalim yung center of gravity ng uh, triangular plate? Yun yung bar H na kuha natin as 3.6 meters. Pero ang tinatanong kasi sa number 27 is 8 sub 1. Okay, paano natin kukulin si 8 sub 1? Based dito sa, okay, base dito sa figure natin sa number, uh, para sa number 27. Okay, ang equivalent ng h sub 1 is equal to bar h ay minus yung 2 over 3 ng ay yung depth ng plate or yung height ng plate. So we have h sub 1, ano yung nakuha natin na bar h that is 3.6 minus 2 over 3 up at uh, 3.6 or nakuha na natin yung kanina as at uh, 2.4. So ang equivalent ng h1 is equal to 3.6 ay minus Ayo, that is uh, minus 2.4 So yung value ng uh, H1 Kung gaano kalalim itong vertex Is equal to 1.2 meters So ito yung sagot natin sa number uh, 27 So number 27 okay, That is letter B okay, We have 1.2 meters okay, Sunod na natin si number uh, 28 28. Compute the depth of the center of a pressure. So, hinahanap lang natin ito ay yung location ng center of a pressure or pareho lang din yun sa point of action ng hydrostatic force. Okay, so, ilagay ko na lang siya as the 8 sub, 8 sub P. Okay, paano natin kukunin yung 8 sub P? Uh, madali lang naman. Okay, based sa figure natin for quest, uh, number 28, Ang pag-compute ng H sub P is simply equal to the bar H plus the eccentricity. O, yun lang naman. Ah, diba? Paano ba natin mararating yung center of pressure? O, yun yung uh, bar H. Idagdag lang natin yung E. Yun yung location ng center of uh, pressure. So, i-compute natin. Uh, this is okay, the H sub P. Okay, we have H sub B, yung nakuha natin na bar H is 3.6 meters. Yung given na E kanina or the eccentricity is 0 0.20. So, we have the value of H sub P is equal to 3.8 meters. So, ito naman yung sagot natin sa number uh, 28. Uh, check natin sa choices. If we have that value, the 3 point, ay 3.8. Uh, so, we have that as letter, uh, letter C, 3.8 meters. Number 29, tayo. If the hydrostatic force is 152.56 kN, compute the base width of the triangle. So as you can see, hindi kasi given yung base width niya from, okay, from the start. Okay, wala ito. So paano ba mag-compute ng hydrostatic force? This is for question number uh, 29. Okay, recall natin. Okay, for question number 29, ang pag-compute ng hydrostatic force is equal to the gamma, a unit weight of the liquid, okay, multiplied by the bar H times the area. Uh, diba nagbigay na siya ng force sa so number 29? Yung force na yun is 152.56. Uh, so mag-substitute na lang tayo. The force is 152.56 kilo uh, newtons. Gagamit din tayo ng gamma of water na kilonewtons. Yung, yun yung 9.81 kilonewtons per cubic uh, meter. Yung bar H na na-compute natin is 3.6 meters. Okay, ano yung area ng triangle? That is 1 half times the base. Ano yung depth ng triangle? That is the same as uh, 3 point. Okay, 3.6 lang din yung uh, D. So, sa equation na to, ang unknown na lang is yung uh, base. Kung mag-unit analysis, cancel yung kilonewton. Uh, supposedly, this is a uh, meter, 3.6 meter, tapos meter. Obviously, i-cancel natin, meter, meter, uh, meter. May isang meter na may iiwan dyan for uh, the B, since meter cube. 
Okay? So, computing for uh, the base width of the triangle, this is 152.56 kilonewtons is equal to gamma water, 9.81, times yung na-compute na bar H is 3.6. I area ng a triangle is I one half. I yung base is, sabihin na lang natin, alpha X. Then yung depth or yung height ng triangle, triangular plate is 3.6. Ship solved. Okay, 2.39999. So, approximately, sabihin natin, okay, the value of the base is equal to 2.4 meters. So, check natin if we have 2.4 meters. So, choices problem number 29. So, we have that as okay, letter A. This is okay, 2.4. Uh, meters. So, ito yung sagot natin for problem uh, 27 to 29. Lumabas na rin ito one time sa uh, one time sa board exam. Problem uh, 32 uh, 32. A closed cylindrical tank having a radius of 0 0.6 meter and a height of 4 meters is full of water under a pressure of 196.2 kilo uh, pascals. So, the metal side is 5 millimeters thick the vessel is rotated at 200 revolutions per a minute so number uh, 30 tayo compute the total pressure on the side of the wall of uh, the tank ay kung mapapansin niyo yung tanong is uh, tinatanong dito yung total pressure pero yung unit ng mga nasa choices natin ay mga forces since that is kilonewtons so pwedeng ang ibig niyong sabihin compute the force acting on the side of uh, the wall of the tank so, ito yung ating uh, tank eh. May pressure sa ibabaw na 196.2 kilopascals. Yung height is 4 meters. Yung angular velocity, ito kinonvert ko na siya sa radian per second. More likely, ito yung kakailanganin natin na unit. The radius and the uh, thickness. So, kapag nagro-rotate yung ating tank eh, ang hinahanap lang dito is yung force acting on uh, the wall. So basically, paano ba tayo mag-solve ng uh, force? Parang hydrostatic force ito. So sa number uh, 30, kung i-recall -re natin, yung pag-compute ng hydrostatic force is the unit weight multiplied by the bar H or okay, multiplied by the uh, area. Kaya lang, yung bar H is yung distance. I-recall ulit natin, ano ba yung definition ng bar H? Ito yung location from zero pressure to the center of uh, gravity of the wall. Okay, yun yung distance na yun, ha? So, from the point of uh, zero pressure, papunta sa center of uh, gravity. Kaya lang dito, sa tanke natin, uh, yung ibabaw is not zero pressure. Meron tayong pressure na 196.2 kilopascals. Tapos, umiikot pa siya at 200 revolutions per a minute. So, ang gagawin natin dito, yung pressure na to, i-convert natin to equivalent of uh, water. So, maglalagay tayo ng parang imaginary water sa ibabaw ng uh, tanke. So, just as a uh, representation. So, let's say, uh, diba, meron tayong uh, pressure on the top of the tank equal to 196.2 kilopascals. Ano yung equivalent height of water nito? Ay, basically, ang pagkuha ng pressure is gamma, okay, the gamma H, equal to 196.2 kilo uh, pascal. So, since tubig yung laman ng tanke, 9.81 times bar H is equal to 196.2. Uh, ano equivalent ng height dun sa pressure na to? Ano, hindi siya yung bar H. H lang siya. So, 196.2, that's 196.2, this is divided by uh, 9.81. So, 20, okay, meron siyang equivalent height na 20 uh, meters. So, since close yung tangke natin, lahat ng ilalagay kong uh, tubig dito sa ibabaw ay imaginary lang. Kung baga, representation lang, ay okay, representation lang nung uh, pressure na 196.2. Uh, so, meron siyang equivalent na 20 meters ng tubig. Okay, so kung nilagay ko na yan, Ay, parang yun ko yung uh, equivalent. Pero take note, ah. So, lahat ng tubig sa taas ng tanke ngayon ay imaginary since ay close yung tanke na din. Okay, so tapos, paano naman natin ilalagay yung additional pressure okay, na gagawin ng rotation? 
So, di ba, uh, umiikot yung tanke, supposedly, tataas yung tubig. Pero since hindi siya makalabas dahil closed tank tayo, okay, itutulak niya yung cover ng uh, tanke. So, paano natin ilalagay yon as an... Uh, uh, paano natin i-represent na parang may nadagdag sa uh, pressure niya? So, gamitin natin yung uh, formula for angular velocity, height ng parabola, h is equal to the omega squared, the radius squared, this is divided by twice the acceleration due to uh, gravity. So, we have h is equal to yung angular velocity is 20 pi, this is divided by 3, Okay, so this is squared. Yung radius ng tangke is 0 0.6 squared. This is divided by twice of 9.81. So, ano yung equivalent height ng paraboloid? Okay, so meron tayong angular velocity dito na 20 pi. This is divided by 3. Kailangan natin ito in radian per second. Yung radius ng tangke is 0.6 squared. This is divided by twice of okay, 9.81. Ah, sorry, hindi naka-squared yung ating angular velocity. So, dapat ito ay naka-squared din. Okay. So, yung lumabas dito is uh, 8.0489. Uh, Sabihin na lang natin. So, the equivalent height is 8.049 uh, uh, meters. Okay. So, saan naman natin ilalagay ito? Pwede natin siyang ilagay din sa ibabaw ng pressure. Pero, yung equivalent naman nito ay yung o yung paraboloid. Okay, so yung paraboloid na to, meron siyang equivalent height uh, because of the uh, rotation. Okay, meron siyang equivalent height na 8 point uh, that is uh, 8.0 uh, 49 meters Okay So nailagay na natin yung may equivalent heights ng pressure So ulitin ko lang Yung 20 meters na to because of the pressure na 196.2 kilo pascals Yung 8.404 uh, 49 naman nito is because of the okay, rotation, the angular uh, velocity So sa ibabaw nito Sa ibabaw ng imaginary paraboloid natin, nandiyan na yung location ng pre as pressure is equal to a zero. So which means ang kailangan natin na distance is okay mula dito sa parang uh, let's say center of gravity. Okay, the center of gravity ng wall ng tangke papunta dun sa imaginary location ng zero pressure. Ito yung value ng ating okay, bar h. Okay, based sa figure, ano yung value ng bar H? So, height ng container is 4 meters. So, yung location ng kanyang center of gravity mula sa taas ay, or mula sa tuktok ng container, is 2 uh, meters. Okay, based sa figure natin na yan, ano yung magiging equivalent ng bar H? Okay, compute natin yung equivalent ng okay, bar H. Or dito na, para makita natin yung figure. Yung equivalent ng bar H is equal to Okay, di ba? Yung kalahati ng height ng tanke That is 2 meters Okay, plus Yung height because of the pressure sa ibabaw Is 20 meters Plus Okay, plus Yung height because of the rotation That is 8.049 meters So, ito yung may equivalent ng bar H Okay, computing for okay, the value of the bar H okay, So yun yung uh, 2 meters plus 20 meters okay, Plus the 8.049 uh, meters So meron tayong uh, bar H is now equal to 30.049 uh, uh, meters okay, So meron na tayong value ng bar H Para dito sa formula na to, The gamma bar H area Ano naman yung area na i-consider natin? Okay, we have the value of the bar H Is equal to 30.049 uh, meters Yung area naman is okay, For example, kung ikakat natin yung tangke na to, Ikakat natin siya vertically Tapos saka natin buksan okay, Ano yung magiging appearance nun? 
Ay, pag kinat natin vertically yung tangke Tapos binuksan natin Ang magiging appearance niya is para siyang isang rectangular uh, rectangular wall So yung rectangular wall na to Meron siyang height na 4 meters Ano naman yung magiging equivalent ng length? Yung equivalent ng length niya is equal to the circumference Equal yun sa 2 pi the radius or 2 pi r So this is the same as uh, 2 pi Yung radius ng tanke is 0 point, uh, 0.6 So meron na tayong equivalent length na ano yung 0.6 of 2 That is uh, 1.2 of pi meters Ito yung area na i-consider natin Basically, yung area na i-consider natin dito is area ng rectangle That is yung uh, height times height times the length lang tayo Okay? So I think kompleto na yung details para dun sa computation ng hydrostatic force F Okay, computing for the hydrostatic force so we have a hydrostatic force is equal to the unit weight of water multiplied by the bar H multiplied by the area. Ano yung unit weight ng tubig? That's 9.81 kilonewtons per cubic meter. Since kilonewtons yung mga nasa choices, yung bar H is 30.049 meters. Tapos yung area, uh, meron tayong length na 1.2 of pi meters multiplied by yung height ng tanke is 4 meters. Okay, so computing for the total hydrostatic force I said it is uh, 9.81 Okay, multiplied by the bar H That is 30.049 Okay, multiplied by uh, 1.2 of pi Then multiplied by Yung height ng tanke 4 meters Oh my God, syntax error ano, Hindi ko na ilagay dito Ayan. So walang parenthesis So yung lumabas dito is uh, 4,445.188 So this is 4,445.188 kilo newtons Okay, 4445.188 kilo newtons Okay, check natin yung value na to Kung meron sa uh, choices for question number 30 Okay, so pinakamalapit na Siguro iba lang yung uh, decimal places na ginamit Pinakamalapit na value is letter C That is the 4445.13 Okay, dito tayo sa number 31 Which of the following most nearly gives the total pressure on the top of the tank? So ngayon naman, dun sa uh, taas So uh, dito sa tanke, eh, paano natin i-compute yung total force dito? Okay, so i-compute natin yung force Kung baga yung force na nagtutulak Okay, dun sa cover Okay, dito sa takip ng tanke eh. Okay, take note na kapag ganito yung uh, tanong At naglagay tayo ng mga Okay, remind ko lang ulit Yung mga liquids natin dito sa taas Okay, yung mga liquid dito sa taas ay mga imaginary liquid okay, For the sake lang na may analysis, uh, magawa natin yung analysis Imaginary lang lah lahat yan okay, Kapag nagko-compute tayo ng uh, force sa takip ng tanke At naglagay tayo ng mga imaginary liquids okay, This is for problem number uh, 31 Yung equivalent ng force uh, doon sa top is equal to the weight okay, The weight of imaginary uh, liquid Okay? So yung force sa uh, ibabaw is simply uh, the weight of imaginary liquid So meron tayong uh, portion dito Isa Yung unang portion dito is uh, cylindrical Meron siyang height na 20 meters Yung isa naman is uh, paraboloid Or yung uh, portion ng tubig ng, ng paraboloid Since ito ay hangin okay? So paano natin i-compute yung uh, dalawang yon? So basically we have the force okay, on the top of the tank is equal to okay, Yung cylindrical part, okay, ano ba yung radius ng cylinder natin? That is pi, the radius of the cylinder is 0 0.6 squared Meron siyang height na 20 meters Ito yung due to the pressure on the top Okay, plus 
Okay, ano naman yung volume ng tubig ng paraboloid? Sa volume ng tubig ng paraboloid, kalahati lang niya. Okay. So, that is 1 half pi. Ano yung radius ng tanke? 0.6. Yung height ng paraboloid is uh, 8.0409 uh, meters. Okay, i -re recall lang natin. Sa isang uh, cylinder na may paraboloid, Adi ba parang may uh, yung yung volume ng hangin uh, considering ah uh, take note na nagko-consider tayo ng the same height ng cylinder at saka nung uh, paraboloid. Uh, yung volume ng hangin is equal to uh, the one half pi r squared times h. Pero yung volume naman ng uh, portion ng tubig eto yung portion ng tubig is pareho lang din. Uh, it's the same as 1 half pi the radius squared times h Paghahatian nila yung uh, volume Pero considering na isa lang yung, isa lang yung height nila okay, So narecall lang natin yan So 1 half of uh, pi 0 0.6 squared times the height is 8.049 uh, So we have the force on the top of the tank is equal to Okay, unahin natin yung cylinder That is we have shift pi that is 0 0.6 squared times a height of 20 meters I plus That is 0 0.5 This is shift pi That is uh, 0 0.6 squared Times yung height ng paraboloid na na-compute is 8.4049 uh, Ah, sorry So that is uh, weight Pero yung kinocompute ko dito is yung volume pa lang Paano ba tayo mag-compute ng, uh, ng weight pala? Ang weight is equal to the unit weight times the volume. So yung gina uh, yung portion na to is basically the ay the volume I, uh, I multiply lang natin sa unit weight. The unit weight of water that is 9.81 kilonewtons. Okay, so i multiply natin ito. So this is the total volume of the imaginary liquid. I multiply natin yun sa gamma water, the 9.81. So, this is equal to 266.548. We have 266.548 uh, kilonewtons. So, nakaligtan ko yun. Ang pag-compute ng weight is the unit weight times volume. So, ito yung volume times the unit weight of uh, water. Check natin yung value na to sa choices. If we have 266.548. Okay. So, pinakamalapit na sa choices natin, we have 266.55 kilonewtons. Then sa number 32, ay, which of the following most nearly gives the maximum hoop stress on the wall of the tank? Okay, yung maximum hoop stress, okay, kung may recall natin ito sa strength of materials, ito yung tangential stress. So we have, that is the sigma t, ito yung pressure times the diameter divided by twice the uh, thickness. Okay, yun yung purpose kung bakit niya binigay yung thickness na 500 uh, 5, na 5 millimeters So, para maging maximum yung stress Para maging maximum yung stress na to Dapat yung gagamitin natin na pressure ay maximum pressure Saan ba natin matatagpuan yung maximum pressure? Ang maximum pressure sa isang tanke ay nandito sa gilid sa ilalim So, okay, sa point na yan, nandyan yung P uh, max okay, Bakit dito? Since nandito yung pinaka uh, Mataas na height ng uh, tubig So mula doon sa surface ng imaginary paraboloid natin Papunta dito sa ilalim Ito yung maximum height ng uh, tubig So that is okay, the value of H okay, What is the value of H? Okay, computing for uh, the value of H okay, Yung height ng paraboloid na 8.049 Plus yung height na 20 meters because of the pressure Plus yung height ng tanke na 4 uh, meters We have the total H is equal to This is 32.049 meters okay, Then, paano ba kumuha ng pressure? The pressure is basically equal to the unit weight times okay, the height okay, Kunin natin yung pressure na yan So, ito yung maximum pressure Dahil ginamit natin yung maximum height ng tubig That is the gamma, okay, gamma H 
Uh, that is unit weight of two uh, ng tubig, 9.81 kilonewtons per cubic meter. The height is uh, 32.0. is 0 0.049 meters. We have the maximum uh, pressure is now equal to uh, we have 9.81 times uh, 32.049. Uh, this is equal to 300. Uh, this is 314. 0 0.0 Ay sabihin natin 0 0.401 Ay kilo pascals So 314.401 kilo uh, pascals Okay so we have This is now uh, the tangential stress Or the hoop stress Is equal to 314.401 kilo pascals Ano yung diameter ng tanke? Meron tayong radius na uh, 0.6 So yung diameter niya Times 2 of 1.6 is uh, 1.2 meters Or gamitin ko dito 1,200 millimeters This is divided by okay, Twice the thickness Yung thickness niya is 5 millimeters So para mag-cancel yung unit dito Na mm okay, So we have now the tangential stress Okay, the tangential stress is Kung mapapansin nyo yung naiwan na unit dyan is kilopascal So, i-convert natin This is 1 megapascal Is to ay 1,000 kilopascals Para yung final answer natin Will be in uh, megapascals I think yung nasa choices is okay, Megapascals yung unit So, this is 300 uh, We have 314 314.401 this is multiplied by 1,200 okay, This is divided by uh, Twice The thickness That is 5 millimeters So yung value na to Yung na-compute na to Is nasa kilopascals Divided by 1,000 Para maging megapascals It's uh, 37.728 We have 37.728 megapascals Okay, check natin ito sa choices Okay, so 37.728 Pinakamalapit na yung letter A natin That is 37.73 So ito yung case na rotating vessel Closed tank Tapos may additional pressure sa ibabaw okay, So problem 33.2 uh, 35 A small orifice 0 0.003 uh, square meter in, in area is in the vertical side of a rectangular tank The horizontal cross-sectional area of the tank is 0.4 square meter At a given instant, the head of the orifice is 1.2 meters And 312 seconds later, it is 0.6 meter Okay, now question number 23 tayo Compute the value of the coefficient of uh, discharge so, ito yung ating tank Yung area ng tank is 0.4 square meter Okay, given na rin yung area ng Okay, orifice So, i-recall lang natin yung formula Okay, yung formula natin for this uh, case Na yung paglabas ng uh, tubig from the orifice Is exposed na siya sa atmosphere Ito yung tinatawag natin na an uh, submerged case Okay, question number uh, 33 More likely, direct substitution tayo sa formula Now, that is the time Equal to the negative twice the area this is okay, divided by the coefficient of discharge area of the orifice This is the square root of 2g Tapos to be multiplied by the square root of the final head h sub 2 Minus the square root of the initial head h sub uh, 1 So hinahanap lang natin dito yung coefficient of discharge So ang gagawin natin ay okay, mag uh, direct substitution Okay, so sabi niya from 1.2 to 0 0.6 The time is 0. Point, uh, that is 312 seconds So this is okay, 312 seconds Is equal to negative twice Yung area ng tanke Is 0. Point, okay, 0. 0.4 Divided by Ito yung required coefficient of discharge Area ng orifice 0. 0.0003 square meter okay, Multiplied by twice Of 9. Point, 
81. This is multiplied by the final head, yun yung 0.6. Okay, minus, initial head is 1.2 uh, meters. So, computing for the coefficient of discharge, this is 312 is equal to, okay, this is negative twice, area ng tanke is 0.4. Divided by, sabihin na lang natin, alpha x. Okay, uh, area ng orifice, 0 0.0003. Okay, then multiplied by, okay, the square root of twice of 9.81. Okay, then to be multiplied, wait lang, maglagay lang tayo ng parenthesis. Okay, to be multiplied sa, okay, this is the square root of the final head, 0.6. Okay, minus okay, the square root of the initial head that is 1.2 uh, meters. So, shift solve. So, ang lumabas dito is 0 0.619. Okay, we have the coefficient of discharge is equal to 0 0.619. Uh, Check natin ito sa choices for question number uh, 33. So, 0 0.619, pinakamalapit na sa choices natin is letter B, the 0 0.62. Then number 34, uh, using a coefficient of discharge equal to 0 0.6, how long will it take to lower the water surface from 1.2 to 0 0.8? Okay, so madali lang naman yan. More, more likely, parang direct uh, sub ulit tayo ngayon. Okay, for problem number 34, okay, nagbigay siya ng panibagong coefficient of discharge, gagamitin raw natin is 0 0.62. Ang initial head natin, pareho lang kanina, 1.2 meters. Tapos yung final head is ngayon, naging 0.8 meter na. Ngayon, ang tinatanong naman is yung, okay, nagtatanong siya ng time. Okay, so direct substitution, okay, from this uh, formula, we have the time is equal to negative twice, area ng tanke is 0.4, divided by, yung gagamitin natin this time is 0. Ano, parang 0.60 yata yun, hindi 0.62. Okay, correction. So, ang gagamitin is 0.60. That's 0.62. Okay, so yung gagamitin sa 34 is 0.60. So, this is 0.60. Area ng orifice, 0.0003. Okay, multiplied by the square root of twice of 9.81. Ang final head natin ngayon is 0 0.8. Ganun pa rin yung initial head. 1 point, okay, 1.2. Okay, computing for the time. Okay, so that is at negative. Uh, negative 2, area ng tanke is 0 0.4. Uh, this is divided by uh, yung panibagong value ng C sub D, coefficient of discharge, 0 0.6, 0 0.003, area ng orifice. Then, this is the square root of twice of 9.81. And then, to be multiplied by the square root of the final head, 0.8, I minus the square root of the initial head, this is I 1.1.2. This is equal to 201.699. So, this is 201.699 seconds. Okay, check natin ito sa choices for number uh, 34. Okay, pinakamalapit na sa choices natin, 201.7 seconds. Letter, uh, letter B. Then, number uh, 35, okay, using C equal to 0 0.60. Sa ibang reference, C lang siya. Sa iba naman, C sub D for the coefficient of uh, discharge. So, using C equal to 0 0.6, what will be the height of water from 1.2 meters after a lapse of 240 uh, seconds? So, sa number uh, 35, yung hinahanap naman natin dito is okay, final head. Okay, ano ba yung mga given? Yung C sub D ngayon is 0 0.60. Okay, yung initial head, ganun pa rin, 1.2 meters. Inahanap natin yung final head after a time 
equal to 240 seconds. Okay, is that 240? Okay, 240 seconds. Okay, so the same formula yung gagamitin natin. So this time, may time tayo na 240 seconds. Equal sa ne uh, negative 2, area of the tank is 0.4. This is divided by C sub D, or coefficient of discharge, 0.6. Area ng orifice is 0.003. Okay, the square root of twice of 9.81. So this is multiplied by the square root, final head, head number 2, minus this ini uh, the square root of the initial head, that is the 1.2 uh, meters. So, we are computing for the final head after 240 seconds. So, pwede ko natin sigurong i-edit yung uh, input na to. So, gawin ko lang alpha x yung final head. Tapos, palitan natin yung time. Compare kanina. Yung time kanina is... Ayun ah, yung hinahanap natin kanina yung time. So, ilagay ko lang ay alpha equals... Okay, yung time ngayon is equal to 240 seconds. So, okay, shift solve. So, yung lumabas is equal to 0.733 uh, meter. Okay, check natin ito sa choices. 0.733. Okay, so we have that as uh, letter C for question number uh, 35. So, ito yung solution natin for problem uh, 33 to 35. So, this is for orifice. Ang submerged condition, ito yung paglabas ng liquid. Okay, uh, ex uh, open to atmosphere na siya at wala tayong consider na second tank. Okay, so problem uh, 36 to uh, 38 tayo. So, two pressurized prismatic tanks A and B are connected at their sides by an orifice, 140 millimeters in diameter. Tank A contains water at a depth of 3 meters above the orifice and a pressure of 50 kilopascals on the water surface. Tank B also contains water at a depth of 2 meters above the orifice and a pressure of 15 kilopascal, uh, kilopascals on the water uh, surface. Okay, the coefficient of discharge is 0 0.86. And coefficient of velocity is 0 0.92. So, meron tayong CDN, uh, CB. So, CB is 0 0.92. So, for example, ito yung dalawang uh, tanke natin. So, this is uh, tank A and uh, tank uh, B. So, number uh, 36. Ang tanong, which of the following most nearly gives the flow rate through the uh, orifice? So, i-assume natin na constant head ito, hindi gumagalaw yung mga liquid surface natin. Okay, for a reason na hindi naman given yung diameter ng mga uh, tanke. Kasi kung i-assume natin sana na gumagalaw yung mga liquid surface, dapat given yung diameters ng mga uh, tanke. Okay, para makompute ma yung discharge sa number uh, 36... Ay, paano ba tayo mag-compute ng discharge? Uh, obviously, ang kinocompute natin dito is yung actual discharge. Equal yun sa coefficient of discharge, area of the orifice, the square root of 2G times okay, the total head. Let's say 2G, uh, 2GH. So, paano natin kukunin yung uh, total head? Yung total head is the difference of the energy heads uh, per, uh, per tank. Parang ang source kasi natin dito is yung tank A. So, sabihin natin at, at tank A, ito yung total energy heads uh, na meron tayo. So, yung total energy head uh, E, or sa ibang reference, uh, H, sabihin ko na lang uh, E1, is uh, meron tayong elevation head. Ito yung kanyang elevation head that is equal to 3 uh, meters. Okay, plus, ito naman yung pressure head na binigay, the 50 kilopascals. So, that is uh, 50 uh, divided by gamma water. Or kung ilalagay natin siya dun sa formula, ito yung uh, elevation head plus uh, the pressure head. Hindi na tayo magkoconsider ng velocity head for a reason. Yung velocity na lumalabas sa tank A is equal lang naman sa velocity na pumapasok sa tank B. So, hindi na natin yun isasama. Ang ikoconsider na lang natin is yung elevation head at saka uh, yung pressure head. So, yung total energy head sa point 0.1 is 3 meters. Meron tayong pressure na 50 divided by gamma uh, water. So, this is uh, E equal to 
Okay, that is 3 plus uh, 50 divided by gamma water, 9.81. That is uh, 8.097 uh, okay, 8 uh, meters. So, doon naman tayo sa B. Ay sa B, uh, let's say uh, this is at uh, tank B. Let's say energy head number 2. Ay yung elevation head plus yung uh, pressure head. Okay, so we have yung total energy head na available sa kabila is meron siyang elevation na 2 meters in yung height ng tubig. Yung pressure sa B is 15 kilopascals. Okay, divided by 9.81. So ano naman yan? So we have that is 2 meters. Yung pressure sa B is only 15 kilopascals. So 15 divided by gamma water, 9.81. Okay, so this is equal to 3.529. This is uh, 3.529 uh, uh, meters. So parang ito yung total energy head sa A, 8.097. Sa B, 3.527. Uh, so obviously, yung source ay sa A, yung B yung uh, receiver. So yung total head natin will be the difference of the two. Ay, kung baga, ito yung initial head. Ito yung E1 okay, minus okay, E2. Ano yung E1 natin ganina? Yun yung total energy head sa, uh, sa A. This is 8.097 minus sa B, that is 3.529. So again, hindi na tayo nag-consider ng velocity head for a reason. Isa lang naman yung velocity. H is equal to that is uh, 8.097 okay, minus the 3.529. Uh, uh, so equal ito sa 4.568. This is 4.568 uh, uh, meters. Okay, so magagamit natin yung head na yan para makompute yung uh, discharge. So gagamitin natin is actual uh, discharge. So the actual discharge is equal to the coefficient of discharge area of the orifice this is the square root of 2g times okay, 2g, 2g times h okay, so substitution okay, we have the flow rate actual is coefficient of discharge binigay na 0 0.86 area ng orifice yung diameter na binigay is 140 mm or 0 0.14 meter squared pi this is divided by uh, 4. Then, this is the square root of 2 times okay, 9.81. Yung initial head natin is equal to 4.568 meters. So, we have the flow rate actual is now equal to, uh, that is uh, 0 0.86 divided by 0.14 squared, shape pi, this is divided by 4. Then, okay, the square root of 2 times uh, 9.81 okay, the head is 4.568 meters so this is uh, 0 0.12533 uh, uh, we have 0 0.12533 uh, uh, cubic uh, meter per uh, second okay, check natin ito sa choices if we have that value Okay, so 0 0.12533, ang pinakamalapit na na value is si letter B, that is 0 0.12533. Gumamit lang siya ng uh, 4 decimal places. That is 0 0.12533. Okay, then, okay, number uh, 36. Ano yung tanong sa number 36? So, compute the head loss in the... Uh, orifice. Specific yung formula natin for head loss sa orifice. Okay, ito yung kanyang formula. Uh, the head loss is equal to the total head okay, multiplied by 1 minus the coefficient of velocity squared. Okay, so yung derivation nito is kung gagawa ka ng complete energy equation or yes, uh, kung gagawa mo siya ng complete energy diagram. Okay, we have H. Ano yung total head na nakuha natin kanina? That is 4.568. This is uh, 4.5 uh, 
568 meters. This is multiplied by 1 minus. Okay, given yung CB kanina. Yung CB is 0 0.92. So, this is minus uh, 0 0.92 squared. Okay, kunin natin yung okay, the total head loss or the head loss uh, because of the uh, orifice. That is uh, 4.568. This is multiplied by 1 minus 0.92 squared. So, yung lumabas dito is 0 0.71. Uh, gawin natin 3 decimal places. 0 0.702 meter. Okay, check natin yung value na to sa choices for question number at uh, uh, 37 na pala to. Hindi na siya 36. Uh, this is question number uh, 37. Ay, yung sagot natin ay 0 0.702. Ah, okay, kanina sa calculator. 0 0.7016. 0 0.7016 is sa choices natin ay letter uh, letter D. And number uh, 38, determine the power, uh, power loss. So, ulit, i ko lang natin yung formula sa power loss or sa power. Ano ba yung power? Power is equal to uh, the unit weight of water, the discharge, okay, multiplied by okay, the head. Kung power loss, edi ang gamitin natin is head loss. A unit weight of water is, uh, this is 9,810 newtons per cubic uh, meter. Okay, ano yung nakuha natin na discharge kanina? Ay, yung nakuha natin na discharge is 0.125 this is equal to 0 0.12533 cubic meter per uh, second. Tapos, yung head loss, yung yung nakuha natin sa number uh, 37 kanina. So, ito kanina yung value niya is 0 0.7016 meter. Pwede kong gabitin siguro yan. 0 0.7016 meter. Kung mag-unit analysis tayo, canceling cubic meter, so, ang may iwan for uh, the power loss is equal to, uh, uh, yung unit is nasa newton meter per second or the same as the, pareho lang ito sa, sa watts. This uh, 9,810, uh, multiplied by 0.12533, then multiplied by uh, 0.7016. Uh, so, yung labas dito is 862.608 uh, 862.608 uh, watts uh, Check natin sa choices kung ano yung unit Baka hindi rin sa watts Ano ah, sa watts naman Ayun lang, medyo may konting discrepancy lang sa value Ang lumabas is 862.4 uh, uh, Siguro kung try natin gamitin yung uh, Four decimal places dun sa Q Try lang Okay So ginamit niya lang yung four decimal places Na nasa choices sa 36 Okay, the point uh, 1253 Okay, ito yung solution natin sa uh, Question number uh, 36 to uh, 38 Lumabas na rin ito one time sa board exam 